Hi, everybody. Back in boob camp again. So I think that I'm going to take uh, five, ten minutes of your time to talk through a little bit of my journey uh, lately. So over the last 12 months, we've been on a pretty wild ride. I found out that I had fibroids going on, that my hormones were pretty much all over the place. I had to have a hysterectomy. And so I did that in January, keeping my ovaries. And then that slow progression of weight um, started to come on to my body. I'm not only going to blame that, uh, the, the hysterectomy, but the hormonal changes um, have been, you know, noticeable. And then I've been having a good time. I've been um, dating and going out to restaurants. I've probably been drinking a little bit more than I probably should. Uh, I'm still moving my body, but I haven't been as active as I should be going you know, to the gym. I've been walking the dogs and doing that type of thing. So probably not as active. And the weight seemed to be coming on and then coming on. And then I would do a little bit more healthy and then still the weight would be carry on, would be coming on. I've had lots of testing done. I've had my um, essential fatty acids tested and I found out that the, my ratio of my cells, you know, isn't great. My mum had a better um, response to some testing than, than me. I then had some more testing happen and I found out that my prolectin um, levels are extremely high and going up at a very alarming rate. And then I've had some more testing done um, that shows that I do have a tumour, a uh, little growth that's 3.6 mil by 5 mil on my pituitary gland. Um, this tiny little pea thing in, in your brain that does a lot of hormonal regulation and things too. So add to that the stress of um, life, of what's going on in the, in the world, trying to save the world, um, doing business, growing my business, helping people, which, you know, the stress is good and then the, it's the stress. And, and then the other side of that is the wonderful people who come up and give me a hug and say thank you for, you know, changing my life and thank you for my mum's now doing this and now I've been able to do that. And, like, that's becoming a daily um, occurrence. But in when you wake up in the morning and or you try to put your clothes on and they don't fit and you squeeze into, um, you know, some jeans or then you try to do up a skirt and it just, it still doesn't fit. And, and for me, I've been wearing the same clothes since I've still got clothes in my cupboard from my twenties. And, you know, I've been, I've fluctuated up and down with my weight, but I still have been able to fit into most um, clothes and I've never been over 80 kilos. And then it went up to 81 and then it went up to 82 and I'm doing all of the things. I'm taking my herbs. I'm, you know, following, I'm trying to eat, you know, smaller meals at more times. And then I thought, well, that's not working for me because I'm a busy chick. I, if I have to eat regularly all, all of the time, like that's going to bite into me saving the world. And anyway, so I came to the decision last week after I got home from a little mini holiday out on the boat that, and we still exercised, like we still walked to the other side of Stratty and back and we did, you know, lots of things. But I came to the decision that it was filling my head up too much um that these thoughts about myself and I have to do something about it and I know that the weight loss accelerator program that we offer in clinic works works for me the last I've done it twice um over the last five years and it works for me it works for me so easy and but I wanted to try the other things I wanted to try the eating more regularly. Um, I wanted to try adding all of my 
you know, I'm still taking my supplements, but adding all of those things in and increasing my water and increasing my exercise. I wanted to try all, all of that and it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't work for me. And I am a really big believer in find the things that work um, for you. So some of my suggestions tonight might not work for, uh, for you. And I'm just going to click on to over here just in case anyone's got any questions um, because we're streaming live into um, to boot camp. Hello, anybody joining me in, in there. But um, I wanted to share what I've been doing and what this Weight Loss Accelerator program has done for me and how bloody easy how how it's it's too good to be true like and that's why I sort of feel a bit fakeish because it's the easiest bloody thing that I've, I've ever done um and it works so well for me so if I want to share with you my photo on Tuesday morning that my son um talk so if I go share screen Okay, so this is a photo of me Tuesday morning, last Tuesday morning at 83.5 kilos. I've walked into his room, gave him my phone and said, take some photos of me and spun and put my arms up and, you know, and spun around and, you know, let's and took took the photos because I wanted proof. So that was at 83.5 kilos. And so that's last Tuesday. Today is Monday. And this morning I hopped on the scales and I'm down to, I've lost five kilos. Um, God, let's have a look here. here. Camera, um, photos, let's go back. I want to get the the exact my scales this morning. Okay, seventy eight point nine, but that was holding my phone. Before that, it was point five, so seventy um, eight point nine on on the scales, and that's even loading. That's even doing the loading part of this of this diet. So. That's today and that was last Tuesday. I think you can see quite a big difference um, there when it comes to, to my body. So what does it entail? Let's talk a little bit about, about that. Let's get this back up in here. Okay, so doing the HCG, weight loss accelerator program it's simple it's it's easy it's um, helping your body get rid of the stored fat that you have um that I had I as you saw in the photos around my belly um, and around around my bum it's a homeopathic drops that I get made that I think are the best on the market it have I lost any energy no, I still, and I don't drink coffee. I don't have any uppy, upper, uppers, you know, at all in, in my diet. It's taking these drops, um, 30 drops a day. You can take them in one go. You can take them 10, 10, 10 with every um, meal, if you like, but as long as you're having 30 of these drops a day. You start day one and day two are loading days where you take the drops and you um, eat the food, any food that you think that you're going to, to miss. And that has got, um, you know, fat, some fats in it. So I made, I had avocado. I had, um, what else did I have? I had some cheese. I had salmon. I had... Um, I think some bread, a piece of a toast, 
something like that, like on my on my loading um, on my loading day. So you can load your load for the first two days. So that for me was on Tuesday and Wednesday, taking the drops, and then you start your low um, calorie low diet. And I don't count any of the calories. What my day consists of is I get up in the morning and I will make my um, my drink. I have Medimag Calm that has ashwagelda in it um, and magnesium. I have a herbal mix as well for like a hormonal herbal mix that I've been taking, you know, anyway. And um, and then I will make myself a shake that has celery, one stalk of celery, one whole apple, uh, about two, three inches of cucum cucumber and uh, a lemon. So uh, maybe an eighth of a lemon with the rind with coconut water all mixed up. So that makes about two glasses. So I'll have one glass of my green drink straight up um, in the morning and then probably have one at morning tea or today I took it to work with me and didn't have it until the afternoon and that's fine as well. Then lunch, I have a, uh, so today I had 100 grams of fish. So it was left over from dinner last night. I had um, snapper um, just cooked in the air fryer with some um some broccoli and that was my my lunch and lots of lots of herbs I even had carrot today which is not allowed on the HCG traditionally but I had carrot and broccoli um with with my fish and then tonight I had a bit of um lean mince that was boiled and then and that with some some cabbage and so I had some vegetables and then my other, the rest of my drink this afternoon. And I couldn't even, I couldn't eat it all. I'm not interested in eating too much food. I think my portion sizes were too big when it came to food. We even went out on the weekend. We were all of us um, as a family, we all went out um, and had, and had dinner. And I ordered a piece of grilled fish with the vegetables. And I wasn't tempted to have the calamari or the garlic bread or all those types of things. It didn't, it's honestly, there's something that's been switched on in my brain. I just didn't want it. I didn't want to have a glass of wine. I just didn't, didn't want it. Um, and that's why this, this works. These drops work so well for me. They help my head um, make it easier to make decisions. Saying that, I'm also taking the Levita Cleanse tablets because can you see, I can see that there's still some candida action going on um, post-surgery that I need to need to get rid of. So I am taking the Vita Cleanse to get rid of the any bugs going on in my belly that shouldn't be there, any of the critters. These are the drops, the homeopathic um, weight loss accelerator drops that are amazing. I do take the detox clear mid after I eat. So I had that tonight and that is a green um, drink that has the spirulina, corella, glutamine, glycin, broccoli extract, green tea, milk, thistle. So lots of good um, liver support there and also the, the collagen um, powder. So you can get our good gut protocol and start there clean out your gut but if you want to just jump straight into this program the weight loss accelerator program you can oh and it also comes with the sea minerals so make sure you take get the sea minerals as well so you can get that weight loss accelerator program off with all the instructions off my website and then maybe just add the vitaclin tablets um, in in with that too so feeling great feeling alive with, um, you know, energy and just feeling so much better to get into my clothes again. I know that, you know, I've got no external pressures on me. Everybody 
you know, everybody still loves you. You've got your, your partner, you've got your kids, you've got like everyone, your parent, like everyone, nobody saying anything negative about um, the changing body shape that I was getting into. But I know that once you do put on extra weight, that your body gets used to those fat cells stay in your body. And it's just the size of those fat cells that, um, that changes. So this is a short-term diet that I'm, that I'm doing. Um, you know, if I need to do it once every 12 months, I'm okay with that because I feel great on it. It's a really good reset. It's a hormonal reset. It's a portion reset. I am still having a lot of nutrients. I'm still getting food in. I'm still taking, you know, my supplements, getting everything that I need to do that. I'm doing my body brushing every day. Um, I'm walking the dogs most days. I didn't do it this morning. So instead I did some steps. I've got a big um, step up and down. So I did some exercise with that at home. But yeah, if you're interested in wanting to drop some kilos, if you're not feeling comfortable in your own body, this may be somewhere to start that is that I have found really easy um, to do. And that has worked for me all of the times when nothing else really seems to um, to work. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, please ask any questions, contact me via email at hello at chelseagene.com or I jump into boob camp and ask some questions there. Like always happy to, to answer and help you feel good and share my journey. Um, Cause you know, I'm always going to experiment on myself and do things on my own body before I'm going to recommend it to, um, to anybody else. So that's me talking through my story. Thank you for uh, listening. And if this resonates with you now or later on down the track, um, this is a program that we have been doing for years and years and years, and I don't see it changing. So it's not just um, something that you have to do right now. It's something that you might want to keep in mind, try some other things, and then come back to um, this program if you if you want to. So have the, the best night and contact me if, if I can help at, at all. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night.